Welcome back to Insight. No question about where we are with the beautiful historic Embassy Theater. And uh, we're talking to Kyle about the Festival of Trees, which gets underway tonight. Um, the Festival of Trees starts this evening as part of Downtown Improvement District's Night of Lights. Um, we open at 6 p.m. for general public. And uh, this every year is probably, uh, I mean, it has to be on the top one, two things to do in downtown Fort Wayne at Christmas. We certainly hope so. That's the goal. Um, we spend a lot of time planning from basically May on. So we cert we continue to grow in tendency year on year so that we hope that that continues to be the case. Uh, there's something magical uh, that happens in this space and then with the trees. And I'm not sure which one helps the other one more, but it, the combination is just powerful. So the space certainly is well suited for the Festival of Trees, but I like to think that it's all of the, the time the decorators take and all that positive energy that they bring in that helps with that. Um, people walk in the front doors as the general public and really are in the holiday spirit and that just sort of builds and builds throughout the course of the week that we're open and it, you can tell. So people that have never been, uh, explain like the, the layout, because when I came in the first time, I just assumed it was here in the lobby area and then we were done, but sure. it keeps going. So there's sort of a path, if you will. Um, we bring everyone in the front doors, which everyone's used to coming into for shows, um, and then we actually loop up to the mezzanine level and then across to the hotel lobby side, which is the west side of our building, that's probably a little less traveled than the show side, the theater lobby side, um, and then downstairs. So there's two full floors of trees, and there's sort of a path, but you're allowed to go any which way you please. Yeah, it, it all makes sense once you're here. Uh, how many trees all together? Uh, we have 58 trees this year. And uh, anything new or different or kind of peak your interest type thing? So actually this year we have um, a bunch of new sponsors. I think there's five brand new sponsors and we have three or four new decorators. So there's a new flair um, from the trees from last year. It's different. They don't look all the same this year, so it's it's worth coming to take a look for yourself. And the decorators, they get after this. Uh, they do. It's very friendly competition. It's very very veiled competition, but um, they get into it, and there's some friendly competition. And on the decorating days, which were yesterday and today, they share secrets with each other and work together to try to make the trees voted for, basically. So. Yeah. Uh, you have to be asked this question uh, about uh, what happens to the trees afterwards. Uh, people probably ask that on, sure. to you on the spot. We work with Hoover the Mover, and they come in at the close on Wednesday night, December or November 30th this year, excuse me, um, and they shrink wrap everything, and then the sponsors of the tree decide where they get delivered to. Um, some sponsors use it for their in-house decoration. Others give them to other nonprofits that have requested a, a charitable donation. Um, and we load out all of the trees in less than a day. Wow. So by December 1st, there is no no sign of Christmas trees in the building at all, and then we get ready for the busy show schedule. Yeah, that's the thing that shocks me the most is uh, how quickly it is that it comes and goes so fast. So uh, let everyone know when they can see all these beautiful trees. Sure. The first public hours, as I mentioned, are on Night of Lights, um, and then it runs a full week through Thanksgiving. We are open Thanksgiving hours, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're open noon to 8. Um, and then November 28th, 29th, and 30th, which is that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're open from 9 to 1. Um, and then Wednesday, the Fort Wayne Children's Choir will be doing a community sing-along, um, and they take stage at 6.30. There you go. Check it all out online. We will be right back on Insight.